hey guys in this video i am going to show you how to create free landing page for affiliate marketing so we are going to use google site to build this landing page for free let's do it step by step first of all we have to find the affiliate product in this example i will go to digistore24 you can go to clickbank or any other affiliate marketing platform to find your product so i am now at digistore24 marketplace i will scroll down and I I will create landing page to promote tube mastery and monetization affiliate product in your case you can find any affiliate product on digistore or any other affiliate marketing platform also if you pick a different product you can still follow the method i show in this video and create high converting and beautiful landing page so now we have to study the sales page of this affiliate product and find material to build our landing page so so I will go to this sales page and I will open affiliate support page. So here is the affiliate support page. I will scroll down and they recommend to promote product in this URL. So I will open the URL and now let's find resources. So in resources section, I can get branding image. So let's go to sales page of this affiliate product. So it's look like this. That means we have to create a landing page with white background and black text also we can add this image to our landing page basically we have to create the similar landing page to our sales page so now we have content to build our landing page so let's go to build it go to site.google.com and you will redirect to this page in this page click on this blank button now you will redirect to this page editor in this page editor i can change this background or delete it in this page builder i will delete delete the whole section so there has a delete button so i will click on it and delete the section now our canvas is empty so we can start to build our landing page basically we can get inspiration from our sales page i will add this first headline on my landing page to do that i click on this text box and it will appear in here so i will copy this text and paste it on here now i can click on it and highlight by pressing ctrl a then i can make it bold or italic and then i will make the text as bold and align it to center and i will change the text to headline bold in here i can change the font if i want i don't need to change the font and now we have header bar so let's add the subheading so i will copy the subheading and click on text box and paste the subheading so when i paste that subheading i will get the same style of that subheading so that easy to keep the congruency of the page so i will highlight this and click this alignment button and align it as center now i will click on here and drag it little bit up like this okay let's add the image so in here let's add the same image to do that i will go to branding images and it will redirect to the google drive in here let's find out the image here is that image i click on it and click this hamburger menu then i click on this download button it's not a hamburger menu it's just a three dot okay it's downloaded and i go here and click on this image button and click upload now i will upload this image okay the image uploaded so let's go again the sales page and in here i will not add this section but i will add this section to do that i will copy the text and first i will copy this text and click on text box i will put this text box in here and enter this text then i will make it as a line left okay now i will add this text so just copy this text and click on text box then drag this text box here then enter the text and i will make it as left then i have to add the button so basically when someone click on that button that person will redirect to this sales page so we can use google site button or png image as a button so if we use google site button i will show you the issue so in here i will scroll down and we have button so i will click on the button and in here i have to add the name so i will add the name as learn more then i will go to the digistore24 and copy this digistore url 
or I will go to the affiliate support page and in here they recommend us to use our digistore URL as this so I will copy this URL and add my affiliate ID in here so I will go to Google site and paste the URL slash I will add the fake affiliate ID abc123 then I click on insert so when I click on insert I get the basic button so I will put it on here so it's just a default button and I don't like the look of this button and it's not related to our sales page so it's not related to this button basically there has another way to create a button you can find a button related to this on google or you can create a png image same as this so or you can use this button so in this case i will find a button on google so i open new tab and search learn more button png then i go to images in images i will see lot of learn more button i will click on this button and click on save images and save it on my computer now i will go to google site and click on image and click on upload then upload this button okay we uploaded the button so i will remove this button by click the button and click this trash icon then i will put the button here i click on the button and click this insert link icon then i will insert the affiliate url i will go here and copy this affiliate url and paste it on here and add my affiliate id abc123 then i click on apply also i will make this image as a affiliate url basically click on the image and paste the affiliate url and add the affiliate id in your case you can get affiliate url like this and paste it on here okay i don't like the size of this button so this learn more button is too big so i will remove the button and add the default button okay now our landing page design is complete now i click on this preview button so our landing page look like this on the mobile view on tablet it look like this and on desktop it look like this so now i click on this setting icon in setting i can add a brand image or logo to this website in this case i don't need to add any logo in navigation i can add the navigation to this or menu to this landing page but menu is not required to this type of man landing pages so i will add the color as tran transparent then if i go to custom domains i can add the domain so basically let's publish the page and i will explain more about the domain so i click on this publish button and in here i have to add url so i will add url like this mastery one two three sorry one two three okay and in here i can add the custom domain currently if we want to add this website we have to use this google site url but if you can purchase a domain you can add your domain as your website url basically if you have a domain click on this manage button and and click on this start setup then add your domain here in our case let's for example let's add the domain as tube mastery one to tube mastery.com then you have to click on verify your ownership and go through the process in this case i am not going to add the domain because i don't have a domain to add the, at this time so i click on cancel and close this in who can view my sites make it as anyone and click on this check button then click on publish then you can click on this view button or you can click this combo box and click on view publish site now we have google site url now if you didn't set up your website url with this landing page you will get google site url basically you can go to website like bitly and change the url so i will go to bitly.com and now i can short the url paste the url here and click on shorten in my case i have to create the account but when you show the url you can get the short version of the url so you can use that url to share your website on social media and other platforms so this is a simple landing page we built using google site in google site you can find more tools and more features to add your landing page just play around with those features and build the high converting landing page so if 
if I click on here I will redirect to the Google site landing page and this is our Google site so I can click here and rename then press ok also I can click here and edit the website if I want so I hope you get valuable information in this video if you like this video make sure to like it if you want this type of videos make sure to subscribe and I will see you in next time